Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel High Mathematics and today we have a really interesting challenge AB equal to 100, BC equal to 200 and CA equal to 300 and we need to find our thumb A plus B plus C. So let's do this right now, this is my approach, I want to see your approach down into the comment section so we can, if you can solve this challenge by yourself you can also write your suggestion down into the comment section. So first of all there are a lot of approaches right here but I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you this one, this is really interesting one approach. First of all let's multiply this one by this one and we divide AB times BC we divide by CA. Let's do this. So we have right here AB, so the first expression, we multiply by the second expression times BC and we divide all of the thing by CA. Okay, by CA. This is equal to AB equal to 100, okay, AB equal to 100, BC equal to 200, so times 200, and CA equal to 300, so we divide by by 300 but from another perspective if you look closely on the on the right side on the left side a b b c c a we can easily cancel this c this c we can easily cancel this a and this a and as a result in our numerator we will have like b square so from here our b square equal to 100 and 300 we can also divide this thing by 100 so as a result we have 200 over 3 so b square equal to 200 over over 3 Really great. Right now, let's do absolutely the same thing, but with another another combination. So the second part, let's for example multiply A B C A and we divide by B C. So another combination. So A B times C A and we divide all of the thing by B C, which is equal to right now A B C A B C A B we know equal to one hundred. So one hundred times C A equal to three hundred. And we divide all of the thing by BC. BC equal to 200. Really great. But right now, from the left on the left side, we can easily cancel this B and this B, this C and this C. And as a result, we have A and A, which is equal to A square. So A square from here equal to, let's cancel this uh, 100 and 200. As a result, we have only 2. So 300 over 2 equal to 150. So a square equal to 150. We don't need to find our a, which is much better for us to, to keep this in this uh, position, a square, not like a. It's help us a little bit further, it will help us. So right now let's find our third. We know a square, we know b square, let's find somehow, let's find our c square. For this let's multiply bc times ca and divide all the thing by ab. So bc times ca and we divide all of the thing by AB. As a result, BC equal to 200, CA equal to 300, and we divide all of the thing by 100. But what is about a, a, a variable? B we can cancel, A we can cancel, as a result we have C and C. So as a result we have C square equal to, equal to 600. Yeah, we can we cancel these zeros, as a result 2 times 300 equal to 600. So we know c square, we know a square, we know b square. But right now we can, we need to create we need to create an expression where can we plug in this information? Okay. So how can we find this expression? First of all, let's write this this expression. So when we raise a plus b and plus c, the expression that we need to find. When we raise this to the second power, when we raise this to the second power. This is equal to, according to a formula, a all known formula, this is a square, so a square plus b square plus c square, and plus, we have right here a lot of combinations, so let's write it inside parentheses, 2 times ab plus bc and plus ca. It's really interesting and really important expression because we know everything. We know a square we know b square, we know c square, what about this a, b, b, c, c, a? In the beginning we have it, yeah, a, b, b, c, c, a, so let's plug in everything, every information into this, into this spot. So let's do this. So from here, our expression inside parentheses, a plus b plus c, we need to find this expression, square equal to a square, we have right here a square equal to 150, plus b square 200 over, over 3, and plus c square, c square equal to 600, plus 600, and plus 2 times a, b, b, c, c, a, a, b, 100, b, c, 200, c, a, 300, so 100 plus 200 and plus 300, so 100 plus 200 and plus 300. Really great, right now let's simplify this a little bit, because all the time we have a constant, so this is our final step to 
simplify our expression with this with this constant not my pen cannot write okay let's do this so a plus b plus c to the second power equal to let's simplify this so 150 plus 600 equal to equal to 750 plus let's write this uh, 200 over 3 something like that 200 over 3 and plus we have these parentheses 100 200 300 it looks like we have right here 600 times 2 we have 1000 1200 or 12 1200 right now 750 let's add to this one okay so as a result what do we have right here a plus b plus c to the second power squared equal to right here we have 1950 plus 200 over over 3 really great let's add all of the thing we can easily add it with the common uh, common denominator equal to we have right here 3 yeah and as a result if you multiply it 1950 by 3 as a result we have 5850 and plus 200 okay plus 200 so when we add all of the thing we have our final final equation a plus b plus c to the second power equal to uh, 6050 uh, over over 3 but this is a squared we have right here square so right now we need to uh, apply a square root on both side because we need to find from the beginning we need to find a plus b plus c okay so let's do this right now so we have right here a plus b and plus c equal to square root of 6050 over over 3 and we can easily leave it like that but we can easily in the same way we can easily simplify this a little bit according to the square root property we can write this as square root of 6050 over square root of 3 and right now we can easily express this 6050 so we can easily express it in another way because 6050 can be divisible by 2 at first okay so we can divide it by 2 next we will have like 3025 right here we can divide it by 5 Okay, so we have 605, we can divide this thing by 5 once more, we have right here 121, we can divide it by 11, as a result we have 11, right here divided by 11, as a result we have 1, so we can easily factor, we can easily express the 6050 like that, so let's do this right now. So from here, a plus b plus c equal to, we can write this 6050 like 2 times 5 square times 11 square so 2 times 5 square times 11 square and divide all of the thing by square root of 3 square root of 3 which is equal to square root of 2 obviously because we can't uh, apply square root on this uh, 2 but we can cancel this square root and this second uh, this square right here so as well to have 5 11 so we have 5 times 11 which is equal to 55 times square root of 2 and divide all of the thing by square root of 3 square root of 3 okay and you can easily leave it like that but in the same way we can mm, remove this irrationality in our denominator we can multiply it both sides so right here we can multiply it by square root of 3 and right here we can multiply by square root of 3 let's do this right now so from here our a plus b and plus c equal to 55 times square root of 2 times square root of 3 and if we do if we right here we multiply it by square root of 3 our denominator we will have only only our our 3 so our final answer in our denominator we have 3 in our numerator we have 55 times square root of 2 times square root of 3 equal to square root of 6 so times square root of 6 and this is our answer to this challenge let's write our final answer right here so our answer x uh, or we have a yeah we have right here a plus b plus c equal to 55 square root of 6 over 3 but when you have for example a question where can you find where you need to find a b and c like uh, uh, yeah we can do this right here so we can easily apply this square root on both sides and as a result we have a b and c but if you know if you're talking about the thumb right here so this is our answer to this to this challenge so I hope you understand this explanation. Also write your question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about your approach because as I told before right here we have a lot of approaches, a lot of a lot of uh, tweaks right here. So we, I can easily 
uh, see your challenge, your uh, solutions down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. Not not uh, for me, but for everyone. Yeah, a lot of students find uh, find another solution, for example, and it will be really interesting to read about your solutions, read about your explanation down into the comment section. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. Also write your question down into the comment section. And uh, thank you everyone for your support, for your likes, for your for your kind comments, for your bad comments. It's really important for me to see your response. And thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.